Here's another um, testing of a function to see if it is one to one. And we're going to start off with the assumption that we can have this uh, f of a equal to uh, this thing called f of b. So basically just plug in a and then plug in b. And our goal again, of course, is if it's going to be one to one, then a must equal uh, b. So let's see, f of a would be a cubed minus a plus one. Uh, f of b would be b cubed minus b plus 1. And we start trying to solve for a. All right, so if we subtract the 1s, we're going to get a cubed uh, minus a is equal to b cubed minus b. Now, so far, hmm, not going to work out real well. So basically, I want to shift everything to the left-hand side. So that'll give me a cubed. Oh, actually, let's just shift the cubes on one side and the a's and b's on the other. a cubed minus b cubed. And then on the other side we're going to get a minus b. Alright, and if we factor a cubed minus b cubed, if you remember how to factor perfect cubes, it would be a minus b, the square of the first term, so you get a squared. Uh, the second term of the trinomial would be the product of those two, so you'd get uh, plus a b. Remember we've got to change the sign. And then square the last term, which is b, negative b squared would be positive b squared. And then on the other side you get this a minus b. And you could divide both sides by a minus b and you get this ugly expression, we could have stopped a long time ago, uh, is equal to 1. And we could solve for a, uh, assuming it's a variable, set up the quadratic formula. The problem is you'd get this plus or minus and a lot of junk in terms of a and um, b. So it's not very practical. Um, we're never going to get down to just plain old a equals b. Therefore, this function is not one to one.